probably three million people have crossed that we know of under the uh, Biden administration alone. In just uh, two, two years? In less than two years. And we have 800,000 gotaways. These are people that were detected uh, by our technology, but we couldn't get boots to them, couldn't get, get uh, the authorities to, to apprehend them. They disappeared into the, uh, into the hinterlands of, of the United States of America. We have no idea. We know that 56 people on the terrorist watch list have been apprehended. How many were in that 800,000 wow. that got away? We know there's been over 20,000 convicted, not, not suspected, convicted felons who have served, committed crimes in the United States, been convicted, served time, and then been, been deported. Over 20,000 of those we've caught coming back in. How many have we not caught? We've got some bad, bad people that are in our communities all over this country and literally raping, murdering, robbing, committing DUIs and killing people on the highway that shouldn't even be here. And then at the same time, you've got, not only has the Democrats opened up our border, it violated their oaths of office and violated really the law uh, in opening our borders up, but also have uh, defunded our police, demonized our police, want to abolish ICE, these types of things. And so we've got a crime wave that's going on and been compounded not only by our own domestic criminals, but, but also supplemented by these uh, illegal alien criminals that are coming in as well. And the American people are suffering greatly for it. Well, that's on the security side. That's right. And I read in a Los Angeles Times report, a very large percentage of the crimes committed in Los Angeles are undocumented people that are here illegally. That's right. So e even, even on the left, they're beginning to see this. And in Washington, not your hometown, but where you have to spend so much time, uh, the mayor there is complaining about the because here here in Texas we said you want more immigration we'll send you some you know what she's woke she finally woke up to reality you know? and she was complaining the other day as well as the mayor of New York saying we had 2500 people added to our homeless shelter here we can't we're overwhelmed 2500 that's you know that that's about one fourth of the day that comes across our border down in Texas. That end up in small name a small Absolutely. town in your district. Oh, in, in my district, yeah. I, can, I can tell you every every county, every town in, in 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 the entire state of Texas, and every state is now a border state. And I, I'm not on the border, and we are still impacted. I have the fastest growing school district. Actually, I'm, I'm going to have to clarify that. It's, it's number, I think it's the number three fastest growing school district in the state of Texas, in East Texas, because of the influx of illegal alien children. They're growing for all the wrong reasons. And the cost to the local taxpayer in those counties and those cities in my district and also and to the, to the great state of Texas is overwhelming. Now we're getting into the economic implications. That's right. The cost because we're not collecting taxes necessarily from these people. I guess when they work, we do, but they go straight into the school system and it costs money. You have to build new schools for kids that- That's right. That, that are not families that are paying for it. Right. Uh, but then there's the, the impact on just the community. You ch it changes the nature of a community economically when you have an influx of people that aren't, aren't citizens, right? Well, exactly, Kevin. And I, let me just tell you, people are getting tired of it. And let me tell you who's really getting tired of it. And that's our Hispanic Texans, our Hispanic Americans that live down in the Rio Grande Valley on the border. And we saw what happened that traditionally they've always been Democrat. And yet in a special election, Ms. Myra, Ms. Mrs. Myra Flores, married to a border patrol agent, mother of four, Republican, the first Republican elected in that district in over 100 years. These people are tired of the chaos, of the crime, the bedlam, the cost and blood, sweat and treasure. And I can tell you that uh, we're going to see some other ones in this coming election in November. Hispanic Republicans are going to win some elections that will be stunning uh, and will upset the political apple cart in this country.